Oh, can you empirically prove God uses again. science? No, exactly. That's the problem. Right, right. right. So you can't use science then to determine oh. God, then, can you? Sorry? You can't use God to determine God's existence then or not, can you? No. Right, so what method do you use? So you say, I believe this and the other. I want to know why you believe it. Why you accept it. What have you been reasoned into? And you keep saying, I don't know, we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. We're proud not to say we don't know, but wait a minute, have you reasoned into it then if you don't know? Oh man. God exists. If God, forget what you, forget all the religious side of it. If the one who created you, if he exists, you weren't the result of atoms smashing together and, and fish and this and that, yeah? You were created, okay. If that creator exists, would he know you better than you? I'm not gonna say, you know, oh, Allah made this topic. I didn't say that, did I? I'm asking you as an atheist who doesn't believe in Allah. Allah made this chocolate cake. Can you use science to, can you use around. science to tell me who made that chocolate cake and why? Mm, probably, yeah. Go on then. Probably with 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 mm, DNA testing to be able to like figure out. I think the answer around. you're looking for is no. Checking, checking for fingerprints or. or I, I think the answer you're looking for is no. If I if I were, if I were, if I, were, if I, were, I think the answer you're looking for is no. Why? You could find why? fingerprints, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why was it? Why did they make the cake? Molecule. Why did they make the any, cake? Any kind of why did they make the cake? Huh? Why did they make it? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Right. No, you science. Tell me. Yeah, but, what, but this is the power of science, in my view. The weakness. This is the power of science is is acknowledging the unknowability. Is actually acknowledging that there is that things are only theory. Things can change. Agreed. And, and, and that's the beauty so of the So you agree with me? So you evidence. agree with me that first thing is science can't tell you who made the cake? Of uncertainty. Okay. Yes. Oh, good. And, and acknowledging Second uncertainty. Second thing, can science be used to establish truth? Never. Never. That's not the point of science. Good. Right. Do you care about truth? Yes. Well, what method And you... the pursuit oh. of it. Okay, yeah. beautiful. You care about truth, yeah? But I don't, but I don't believe in what you're trying to get me to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're going to say it anyway. <laughs> you're getting me to say it. You're going to say it anyway. <laughs> Go on. You, you think... Look, look I mean, Alex, some people, right, they ask tricky questions and they're trying to trap you, yeah? yeah. What's your name? Luke. Luke. I'm Hamza, right? Nice I'm telling I'm straight here, right? Yeah. There's a hole there. You're going in the hole? Yeah. And I'm, I'm not, gonna, I'm not I'm putting I'm me in the hole. hole. I'm I'm I can feel it. I'm so, I'm not, I'm so, so I'm not, I'm not hiding the fact what I'm doing to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing this. it to you. I know you. I know you're, yeah, yeah, I Kicking know, and screaming, scratch. Ah! <laughs> you're going in the hole, Luke. It's yeah. just standard. Yeah. Because we don't think this way, you see. We, we put so much faith in science and scientists. Yeah. Now, the, and most people, you've, you've recognized this fact though, yeah, but most people don't recognize the fact, right, that they're looking to scientists to give them truth. Mm. Where the philosophy of science says you can't there get is no truth. truth. Yeah, and that's the beauty of so it. So, using the philosophy of science to establish truth can't establish truth because that same philosophy could refute what you believe today, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, you can't even be sure what you believe today is true. Yeah. Using that philosophy. Yeah. yeah. Someone well, changed tomorrow and God came down. I would say, oh, fucking hell. No, no, no don't worry about that. Don't worry wrong. about that. The point is this. Yeah. From your worldview, I don't hate paradigm shifting. Yeah, okay. Now you've been honest enough to recognize science isn't a tool to discover truth with. Yeah. Well, Brilliant. I think, I think it, it is a tool for the pursuit of truth. Can't discover it, it though. It, it, is the, you it, can it, never it, be confident it is true. It is a pursuit for things that are right. reproducible. It's a I'm going to use my cutter, my cutter, uh, <laughs> Light dower with you. Okay. What does that mean? So I, I went to Qatar for the World Cup. Okay. Right? And people are afraid that my style is going to be too robust for the World Cup because Qatar's got this image and they're trying to not make it look all, oh, they're trying to force people, this, that, the other. Yeah. So I had to come up with a way that I could speak to people and get them to tell me what they believe and why and get them to ask me about Islam. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I came up with this method, right? So if anyone wants to talk to anyone about Islam, if they follow this method, this is for everyone here, yeah? If you want to speak to any of your friends, neighbors, colleagues, whatever, parents, about Islam, you can use this method, right? So I'm going to ask, you, I'm going to ask you five questions. <laughs> yeah. Question number one. Do you believe in the concept of the absolute truth? Uh, no. You don't? So you believe two explanations, two contradictory explanations to the same phenomena can both be true at the same time? No, you don't. Two, two contradictory... Two contradictory explanations to the same phenomena can both be true at the same time. Like, mm. Someone will be your no. mum and your dad. Contradictory explanations. <laughs> right, so you do within the concept of the absolute truth then? Fair? No, I don't. No. Well, you do. 
I'll I'll demo- I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to say that. I will no, demonstrate I you do. I don't do. believe in the athletes. I will demonstrate you do. Okay, go on. Okay. In the 60s, the claim was made, man landed on the moon, yeah? Yeah. NASA said, man landed on the moon, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah. Okay. There are people who believe that happened. Believe NASA, believe the TV, believe everything. Okay, so they believe it's true. Then you have people today who question it. Is it a hoax? Did they really go to the moon? There's, there's so many different things. So they don't believe it happened. Yeah. Can they both be right? No, they can't both be right. But they believe it's true and they believe it's true. Yeah. Can they both be right? No. So there has to be an absolute truth, isn't there? Yeah. So you do believe in absolute truth, don't you? I believe, I believe, I believe well, it's hard because I mean, there's so many things that are unknown. That, 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 don't, whether you know the truth is a different story. The concept. Okay, okay. Yeah. The concept of absolute truth. Yes. Yeah. So, whether man landed on the moon, whether man land, didn't land on the yeah. moon, yeah, sure. they can both believe their own relative truths, but only one can be true. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you know what it is or not, it's one or the other. Agreed? Yeah. That's the absolute truth. That's yeah. the concept. Okay. But it's theory. Do you care about knowing the absolute truth? Yeah, I think it's what I'm mean, story. You care about it. You want to know the absolute truth. I think it's important to be able to work towards it. Yeah. Fantastic. What method do you use to seek out absolute truth? Mm, reasoning. You know, uh, you know it's, it's like, reasoning like, what? Because I, I think, I think. Well, you can say the S word, but you know you don't believe it. Oh, well, <laughs> you no, don't believe I, yourself. I'm a historian. No, so I, I look through history to try and uh, uh, like, uh, within within history. There is surely, surely an absolute truth, but one can only ever climb closer and closer towards it with so, evidence. But what method do you use to find it? Reading, cross-analyzing sources. Cross-analyzing what sources? Primary documents. Primary documents? Primary documents, write letters, writing from people. Uh, so if it comes to the absolute truth as whether or not God exists or not, what method do you use? I just don't believe in God. I know you don't, yeah. but so you... You believe God doesn't exist, yeah? I believe, I believe God of books and institutions doesn't exist. Oh, okay. I'll ask you a question again. Do you believe God exists or not? No. Right. So, you, let's, so let's forget man landing on the moon. Let's talk about God existing or not. If God exists, God cannot not exist. Fair enough? If God doesn't exist, then he can't exist. One of them's wrong. One of you, you are wrong. I believe God exists, you don't. One of us is wrong. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, what method have you used to seek out your position? Well, the thing is, so I, don't, I, I believe, I believe, basically in, in the power of, of of matter and the universe as as a creative force. What method right? have you used to reach the conclusion God doesn't exist? Uh, by my mistrust of institutions, mistrust my mistrust of, of organized religion. You're mistress of and, institutions. And, 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 and if you, you just said you're mistress of sciences. But science, science is not one central institution led by a person. Okay, so what method do you use to seek out the truth if God exists or not? My own gut feelings, man. Gut feelings? <laughs> My own gut feelings and, and the, the overwhelming you're, evidence. You're the overwhelming one second, evidence. one second, one second. The overwhelming evidence. Well, first thing, first thing, first thing. Let's just, let's just... Okay, okay. Let's, okay, no, gut feeling is, okay. Uh, no, no, you don't get it. I said it. Uh, no, you said it, it's out the back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So as no, an atheist... Not, one, second, one second, one second, one second. One second, one second. As an atheist... <laughs> well, as an atheist, you hold the position God doesn't exist because you feel it. No. Yes, so, you just so, said so, that. So, so, like, the, the things would that, you the like to say that back? Yes. I would like to say You'd that. You'd like back. to say that back. Like, yeah, yeah. You're putting me I'm in gonna make, I'm going to make you say a lot of things you're going to want to take back. You know that, don't you? Like, so, like, so for me, for me, I mean, the thing, the things that have been written in, in holy books, right? I've never read the Quran. I should. I have a copy. So you're critiquing holy books you've not read now. Continue. Yeah. But from, <laughs> but the, I haven't read them fully. But I've, I've read passages and I've seen parts of them. And I think the, the you know, the, the reliance on, on, Mm, myth, you know, and 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 the central centrality of humans in you know, and saints and in in. Uh, you do know Muslims are not a Christian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but you know, why they, are you using the follow, word saints? They follow the same. You know, do prophets. we? Okay. Do we? Semantics, basically. Do we? Jesus. Why am I a Muslim? Is, is a holy man in? in why do in I? Both, be, why do I believe Muslim Islam is true? Ideology. Using your assumption of capabilities. <laughs> yeah. Why do I believe Islam is true? Um, Islam is true because God is one being and not divided into three. Why does that make God? Why does, why does that make Islam true? Uh, because 
can't have a divided God. That's my understanding of Islam. You think that's why I believe Islam is true? I, I, if, if, if any that? of the religions, I believe Islam is the is the, the one that makes the most oh, rational right. sense. Wow. But I don't believe in Islam, and I don't believe in God. Okay, but, but you've not read the Quran. I've not read the Quran. So I've what been do you convinced here by someone else? So what do you know about Islam? Um, I don't. I, I don't know enough to, to go into. So you're not convinced by Islam. something you don't know anything about. I'm convinced by other things more. What are you convinced by? I'm convinced by theory of evolution. Why are you convinced by that? Because it makes sense to me. Why? Because the, 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 the passage of over billions of years from organic matter that has come from all across the universe to come here and then and then proceed onwards into life as we know it today. That's what something oh, oh, I find more truthful, more beautiful. Yeah, but you need random you need randomness for that, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. And you, you do know randomness Anybody, isn't proven, yeah? Nothing is proven. Oh, okay. Oh, also also it's you all need, theory. You, do you believe in the uniformity of nature? Do you believe in uniformity of nature? What do you mean uniformity? That uh, the, the, the laws of the universe will exist the same, will, will, will behave the same way at all times, everywhere. I don't know. I don't know. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid of saying I don't know. No, no, I'm not no but you have to, of, you can't say don't know. Absolute truth. But you can't say don't know. You have to say yes. Because you can't do science without that exactly. assumption. But the whole point of science is, is not knowing. And then going and trying I agree. to seek I agree. out, I, seek out I, I, knowledge I, I, I through agree. proof and through, through no, no, no. empirical evidence. You can't. Evidence and, and Can you empirically prove God using science? No, exactly. And that's the problem. Right, right. right. So God. you can't use science then to determine God, then can you? Sorry? You can't use God to determine God's existence then or not, can you? No. Right. So what method do you use? I just don't believe in, in okay. religion as a science. You keep saying I don't goal. believe. What do we, how do you understand the term belief? Look, look if, we, if we're staying on that one idea, right? How can we how can we prove God through any other means, right? Other than what? Oh, oh no, the no. text itself. Let, let's first understand something. How do you understand the term belief? And I'm not doing a Jordan Peterson on you here, but it's very important we do understand the words we the use. Belief is the things I choose to to follow. The, the things I choose to. That's not what I believe. A belief to take as true. A belief is the acceptance of something to be true. Yeah. Okay. To accept something to be true means you've heard a proposition. And you've accepted the premises of that proposition, so you accept the consequence or the conclusion, should I say? Yeah. So you say, "I believe this and the other." I want to know why you believe it. Why you accept it? What have you been reasoned into? And you keep saying, "I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know." We're proud not to say we don't know, but wait a minute. How have you reasoned into it then? If you don't know? Oh man, too hungover. <laughs> Luke. No disrespect, you are a little bit out of your depth, so I'm not going to bury you yeah, too I mean, much. Yeah, this is like, this is so much... But I'm going to leave you with something. Go on. I'm, I'm going to leave you with a gem. I'm going to leave you with a way to test whether Islam is true or not. Okay. And it's not some abstract way. I'm not going to ask you to go and pray and ask God to answer your prayers. I'm going to make it easy for you. Go on. Okay. Why do I believe Islam is true? I, I will, I've always been a Muslim, you know that, don't you? Yeah. I became a Muslim three weeks after 9-11. Okay. Except uh, October 2001. Okay. So I was an Englishman just like you. I was an atheist just like you. Not quite like you, because I wouldn't say stupid things. Like you say, <laughs> I would actually hide behind don't know, don't care. Don't know, don't care would be my thing at that point. Okay. But the point I'm saying to you is this. Why do I believe Islam is true? Okay. 1400 years ago, you're a history, historian, yeah? You like history. Yeah. Fantastic. You're not one of these people, if the history comes from those writing their own history, you don't believe it, are you? Brilliant. I'll take all history for what it is. Fantastic. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a test. I'm going to give you homework. All right? Yeah? And I'm going to give you a card and you can contact me and you can give me the answer to the homework. Fair enough? All right. Do you believe, according to what you've understood in history, that a man called Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, existed in 6th century Arabia? Yeah, definitely. You, that, that's yeah, a well, fact. Well, I believe, I believe that he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, undisputed. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Do you also believe that this man, called Muhammad, peace be upon him, made a claim in the same period that an angel came and spoke to him in the cave of Hira in Mecca? Uh, I don't know the full history of it, but I do believe, I do believe he made a claim. Made a claim. Yeah. Yeah. Historical fact. Made a claim. Sure. Okay. What could, now I'm going to take my Muslim hat off now, but some Muslims are like, what? What are you saying, Hamza? All right. What could explain the claim? 
power. From your atheist perspective, yeah. you've got two. Two explanations. Christians have got one explanation. And then obviously Muslims, we have the final explanation. Okay. So give me two explanations from an atheistic viewpoint could explain this phenomena of him believing an angel spoke to him in a cave. Seeking power. No, no. So, and a means to exert All right, it. you've gone a bit too far. Okay. I'll make it easy for you. He could have lied. There was no angel because atheist perspective, angels don't exist. So if you've got a man claiming an angel spoke to him and you're an atheist, well, angels don't exist. So if he thinks angels have spoken to him, the first thing you're going to say, he's crazy. First thing you're going to say, he's schizo. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's crazy. No, no, I think no, people no. have used the man, you know, the man. power. Well, I don't think he's crazy either, but... pursue power in ways like... What do we say about absolute truth? Yeah. Everyone can have their own beliefs. Yeah. Only one can be true, agreed? Every, if everyone has beliefs, it doesn't mean necessarily that one of them is true. One of them has to be true. Unless you can give me another one. If, if everybody believes false things, it doesn't mean one of them oh, has oh, to okay. be true. What I say to you right now, one of them has to be true. And your homework is to determine which one is true. And then, I'm going to refute you. <laughs> All right? So, either, I'm going to make it easy for you, right? So, atheist perspective, angels don't exist. This guy's talking to angels. He's crazy, man. He's hearing voices. He must be suffering some kind of psychosis. First explanation, because angels don't exist. I didn't say that. No, you don't have to say that. It's just an option. Some people do say that. Okay. Second option, angels don't exist. So he's lying. If he's saying an angel spoke to him, angels don't exist. Therefore, he's lying. So he must be, for some reason, pretending an angel spoke to him. Like you said, power, money, well, whatever it is. Yeah? The Christian claim, which is the most pathetic claim, is it wasn't an angel. It was a demon. Yeah? It was a demon that tricked him, that convinced him he was speaking to an angel, but in fact it was really the devil. And what he thought he was receiving from God, he was receiving from the devil. Christians don't realize they're saying this, this man now is a good man, an honest man, a man of integrity. They don't like to admit that. Because if you're being tricked and deceived, you're a victim. Yeah. Yeah? So this could be an, an explanation from a Christian perspective. Yeah. Any more? Or he's telling the truth. Yeah. So either he's crazy, thinking angels speaking to him. Either he's lying, claiming angels spoke to him. Either he's deceived into thinking angels talk to him. Or an angel talk to him. You just have to tell me which one it is. Because one of them has to be true. I think you can be both be crazy and lying. You can't be crazy and lying because crazy people think they're telling the truth. Yeah. You're telling... Uh, oh, I would go with one of the first two, to be honest. Which one? Well, I can't, I don't know. One of the first two. I'm not going to give an answer because... You can't be crazy and lying, which one? could be either crazy you, or lying. Crazy, okay. Or lying. Do you know you're going to get buried right now anyway? Give me one mental illness that would result in the symptoms of what he experienced. I'm not going to say schizophrenia. Say it. <laughs> no. Say it. Because I mean, I, I understand that people had visions, you know. And, and no, he heard, he heard voices. Yeah. He saw, he saw this thing. Yeah. All right. What mental illness would explain this? Yeah, schizophrenia. All right, give me three symptoms of schizophrenia. Uh, hearing voices, multiple personality. That's hearing voices, same thing. Between the part of your own head. Okay, third one? Uh, I don't know. Come on, you, you're diagnosing the guy with schizophrenia. You've got to know the symptoms. You're leading me into these places. I know I am. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you the holes there. Yeah, I know. No, I'm just like wandering there's, around there's, your holes. <laughs> like, no there's no tricks there's here. No debate. There's no tricks here. Alex, I'll give you three symptoms of schizophrenia. Hearing voices, social recluse, paranoia. Okay, so if this man is suffering from schizophrenia, so hearing voices, check. Yeah. Paranoia, we should see evidence of his paranoia. We should also see uh, a social recluse. Is that what we see? He was a leader. He was a leader, charismatic leader. Yeah. yeah, the last thing he was was a social recluse. Yeah, this was the man who went down and told the people to stop doing the things they were doing, yeah, and to follow him, which turned the whole town on its head. So last thing a schizophrenic would do, this is the thing. The other thing you need to throw into the equation, anyone suffering from mental illness, which doesn't receive treatment, 
will deteriorate. So if this man is suffering from schizophrenia, I don't know. I like, I'm like, don't worry. I know. I know. I'm I, listen, I'll make it easy for you because I'm being a bit unfair with you. I had a psychiatrist come onto my live stream and do a three-hour presentation on why the Prophet wasn't crazy, going through all the different illnesses, showing videos of schizophrenics, and <laughs> yeah, showing videos of schizophrenics, demonstrating that this man, Muhammad peace be upon him from what he achieved in his lifetime to become the most influential man has ever existed according to Michael H. Hart, could never have been suffering from schizophrenia. So we can cross that out. What else you got? Tell me. What, lying? Hmm? Lying? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, for the reasons <laughs> have you read his history? Do you know his life? It wouldn't be fair on you to, to keep digging. Say it again. How do we know? Yes. Okay. What do you mean, how do we know he spoke to an angel? How do we know? He, he said he did. He said he did? Yes. And did he write that down somewhere? Yes, he, he said it. He told people, yes. But did he write it? Was it written down? No, he, he said it. Yeah, he said it to who? And so, who do we have that from? Okay. Let's go back to the original point. If you want to take over, you can take over. Luke, you're off the hook. You're off the hook. One second, one second. No, no, no. So, so, we'll, we'll deal. So, yeah, the angel Gabriel came and he, he talked to Muhammad. And what, what, what did he say? About what, did the angel, what did the angel say? I want homework. Yeah? Because now you've ruled one out. You've only got three choices left. Yeah? Yeah? An open mind, though, Luke. Use this. All right? It's not, you haven't given me an open mind. You put me into a series of categories. Shall I make it worse? Make Let me make it worse. Let me make it worse. It is very, very much like a kind of, you know. Can I make it worse for you? System of, of, of Can I make it worse for you? Can I make it worse for you? Brain cleansing, mate. I'm cleaning the crap out. Okay. Well, let me make it worse for you. Synonym. Yeah, let me make it worse for you. Can I make it worse for you? Do you believe if God exists, he will be the source of objective morality and supreme guidance? If God exists, it's a thought, experiment. thought experiment. If God exists, you don't believe that. Why not? The amount of bad in the world. That what? Is his fault. The amount of bad in the world that he is. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in that. I'm talking about. Why is he doing this to the Palestinians? He got free will, like we talk about. Anyway, would he be the source? Okay, let me rephrase the question. Would he know what's best for you? The idea of God is all knowing. Would all would, it, would if God exists? If God Forget what you forget all the religious side of it. If the one who created you, if he exists, you weren't the result of atoms smashing together and, and fish and this and that, yeah? You were created. Okay. If that creator exists, would he know you better than you? Yes, yeah. Of yeah. course he would. So would he be the best source of guidance for you? God. Who's God? Okay, forget no, religions. I just, I just, yeah, I Stop just, panicking. It's, it's, it's Luke, a Luke, hypothesis. Luke. Like for me, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. No, no, it doesn't. It, and that's fine. Yeah. I'm not asking you to accept any religions right now. I'm not asking you to accept a Abrahamic God right now. All I'm saying to you, if you were created by an entity that created and fashioned you, would that entity know what's good for you more than you? And you said yes. So then you would have to concede he would be the best source of guidance for you. Not necessarily. Why not? But God clearly doesn't necessarily have the best intentions for the people. Why would he guide you in a good way? I'm sorry? If, if a God who doesn't necessarily have the best intentions for all people, that's clearly is the case. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 you're bringing religion into it again. Stop it. You're talking about God. How can we talk no, about God talking about religion? No, you're talking about religion. No, no, no. I, I didn't believe in religion before I believed in God. I believe in God first. Then religion comes. I believe God exists. How do I connect to God? Then religion comes in. Yeah? yeah? I'm not asking you to choose a religion, mate. What I'm saying to you is this, and you're too arrogant now to admit this because you think it's another hole and it kind of is. Anyway, I'll make it easy for you. Yes. Yeah? Surrender your flippant arrogance and say, yes, if God exists, if there is a one who created everything like you claim, then of course- It isn't arrogance I'd be, in the belief you'd in say, God. No, I'd be so stupid to think I know more than him. I'd be stupid. I'd be crazy to think that I know more than God. 
I, I would be, yeah? And to think that I know what's better for me than God knows what's better for me. And what's better for mankind. And what harms, and what benefits. I'd be crazy. It's like me going to the guy who, who, who created iPhone. I said, I know more than you about how to use this iPhone. It, it's exactly the same principle. How can I know more than the guy who created bloody iPhone? I don't know all the intricacies and such, do I? It's the same principle. Okay, so it's a thought experiment. You're not committing to it yet, <laughs> but it's a thought experiment. If God exists, you would have to concede he would be the source of supreme guidance and objective morality. You would have to admit that. Brilliant. If, if I was saying yes, I would yep. have to do that. So you would admit then he would be the only one worthy of your worship and obedience. All of, the, all of this is beyond... All, the it's all hypothetical. Just, just, all yeah, hypothetical. And there's no point. Well, there. I'll tell you I'm, the point. I'm not, I'm not enjoying a debate here. And I always come you know up, that, it always good. ends up in Islam. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, I'll tell you why, yeah. I'll tell you why, yeah. Because you'll laugh the Christians out the park. That's why. That's where the Muslims can deal with you intellectually. Yeah? You Christians, you come, you start with all the... Fairy I want stories to talk about they come with. We'll talk about politics. We'll talk about we current talk, okay. affairs. We'll talk about like there's so many more important things to be oh, talking oh, oh, about. Oh, okay. So we could all, oh, all right. We'll talk about current affairs. I don't want to talk about. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'll ask you. I'll ask you one question. I'll ask you one question. I'll ask you one question. I'm gonna ask you one question before you go. I said that before. Do you condemn Hamas? Do I condemn Hamas? Yes. Yeah. I condemn. I condemn Hamas for their violence, but I understand that it's a reasonable. Why? Why do you condemn them? Do you condemn them for the made up stuff or the stuff they've done? I condemn them for the violence that was carried out. Which violence? On October the 7th. Which violence? Uh, Mr. Historian, which violence? That's this music question. What in happened? The you know, and what happened? There was a massacre of people. By whom? By Hamas. Didn't the people running say Apache helicopters were firing on them? So, yeah. So you condemn the Israeli as well, yeah? Yeah. You condemn the IDF as well? Yeah, absolutely. Good man. That's what I want to hear. Sir. I mean, it's a Sorry. fucking awful situation, but I think it's largely, or entirely, a part of the IDF and the Israeli government. Fantastic. Yeah. I'd rather be talking about that. <laughs> nice Do you believe Hamas it. have the right to cross the border into Israel and kill Israeli soldiers? Uh, well, I believe they are at war. It's a colonial, it's a colonial situation. So, so it's okay. It's war. What about soldiers not in uniform? What if they're off duty? It's, it's different, sir. It's a different form of warfare. It's, so, so, it's so if, if the soldier's not wearing his uniform and not holding his rifle, you can't kill him. But if he's wearing his uniform and holding his rifle, then no, you no, can't. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm, I'm heading off. <laughs> Listen, well, 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 well done, mate. <laughs> May the Lord Almighty guide you. Take care, Take care.